guys, it's your girl Sharon Strong. Now, we've all heard of those people who, the moment they so much as pick up a weight, they immediately pack on muscle. But there are some people who are called hard gainers or the ectomorphs who have to struggle to put on a few pounds of muscle. Now, this video is for you hard gainers out there and I'm going to share with you all a couple of tips on how you can train optimally and see the results that you want. you're going to be an ectomorph. Now, if you look at the screen, every one of us uh, loosely fits into these three body types. First, we have the mesomorph. Now, this is the classic guy who has no trouble at all putting on muscle. Boy, how we hate them. Then, we have the endomorph. Now, these are people who can pack on a decent amount of muscle, but also carry a bit amount of fat as well. And lastly, we have the ectomorph. Now, if you're that person who eats a ton, but has trouble putting on weight, keeps a thin frame and has skinny joints, then that is you. Okay, so now one quick point to understand here is that this is not black and white. Not every one of us strictly falls under one body type. Most of us are combination of the above. Now with that being said, it's important to realize that genetics is very important in determining our structure. So it's up to us to train in a way that fully realizes our genetic potential. Okay, so now if you're a hard gainer and you're looking to put on size, I believe that diet is crucially important. I can't stress enough how important it is to be in a surplus if you're a hard gainer. So as a rough guide for calories, I would say that you require 20 calories per pound of body weight or 40 calories per kilo of body weight to start with. So for example, if you weigh 60 kgs, uh, you would require at least roughly 2400 calories to start with as a starting point. And then, depending on whether you gain or lose weight, you can adjust it accordingly. Now, since you're a hard gainer, you have to understand that your body burns your calories like a furnace. Okay, so my recommendation would be to limit the amount of cardio that you do. Uh, one session here and there is fine, but don't overdo it. Now, the thing here to understand is that this is a long process. So think about the long-term goal. Now, while uh, being in a huge surplus and limiting your cardio, you might put on an extra layer of fat. But if done right, you are building muscle as well. So, don't be scared to put on a little extra fat. Your abs might fade away, but think about the long-term pick. The next tip I would give you guys is to eat dense food. Now, you're going to be consuming a larger amount of total calories. And sometimes it can get so tough to get all those meals in. So what I would recommend to you guys is to go for foods that are calorie dense. Foods that will not stuff you up but have a good amount of calories in them. Things like whole milk, whole eggs, peanut butter, olive oil works for you. And last but not the least, patience. It's going to take some time. One thing I see way too often is that people go in a bulk for 3-4 to four months and then go on a cut again. Now if you're a hard gainer, you need to be in a calorie surplus phase for a good 8 to 12 months at least. So come into that time period, train your ass off, eat right and you will see results. So I hope these 5 tips helped you guys out. Uh, don't let your genetics or your body type discourage you from reaching your potential. I hope you guys liked this video. Thanks for watching and as always, stay strong.